In addition to maps, photos, and other images, various types of GIS data can also be imported into LeapFrog. In this video, we will discuss importing shapefiles, but it's also possible to import Esri Personal Geodatabase files or MapInfo batch files. To import GIS data, right-click the GIS Data Maps and Photos folder. There is a batch import option at the bottom from an Esri Geodatabase or a MapInfo XML file. However, if you're not batch importing, you'll select Import Vector Data. We can import shape files or map info tab files. I can multi-select these files for import. By default, the filter data checkbox will be selected. This option allows you to filter GIS data to within a certain distance of the clipping boundary. The clipping boundary is automatically set as the extent of the imported data. In this case, I will choose to filter the data. By leaving this selected, the elevation data may be removed and the GIS data will be filtered to within the specified bounding box. A warning box will appear. Confirm your choice. If I were to untick the filter data checkbox, all available elevation data would be retained and the data would be imported in its raw format, unclipped to the clipping boundary. Regardless of whether or not the GIS data contains elevation information, a copy of all GIS data in the project is automatically draped onto the topography surface to provide it with elevation data. It can either be viewed in the scene without the topography surface by dragging in the object from here, or it can be displayed on the topography surface, which we will cover in the next video. In addition to GIS data, you can also import 2D grids into LeapFrog. These will also be introduced into the GIS Data Maps and Photos folder. A number of different 2D grid formats are available for import. For this project, I will use image files. I will import a 2D grid representing the aspect of the topography surface which has previously been imported. The file is already georeferenced, so I can directly click Import. By default, the 2D grid is displayed using a color map based on the range of the data in the file. We haven't set the elevation yet, so the grid will be flat. To give the grid an elevation, right-click on it in the Project tree and click Set Elevation. As we already have a topography surface in the project, we can select the From Surface checkbox and select the topography surface. Click OK and the 2D grid will be displayed based on the topography elevation.